Oh, welcome back to Fear and Hunger. You guys just you fucking love this game. I, I mean, not that I don't, but holy shit. This is a very familiar location. So what I'm going to do this time, unlike my last episode, which I think was part six, you know, six again, is see if I can use, because I had learned and fiddled with uh, the Locust spell. I'm going to see if I can have Moonless, if I can have the spell, and if I can actually kill him. Because everyone's always saying, hey, that spell's pretty damn overpowered. It's just, I never was familiar with, like, how to work it, or... Hmm, how to put it. I'm just not too familiar with spells. I'm just familiar with what I'm used to, so I never usually try to take risks of doing things unfamiliar. But, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna see if I can defeat the Crowmauler. Because with the Crowmauler dead, we can use the bed as much as possible. And with the Blood Portal spell... We just keep making new portals, return to level 1 to go to bed, and then... Th that That's basically the most perfect way I can think of, not having to worry about empty scrolls... ...or anything, just... Blood portal, level 1, use the bed. Crowball is dead, he can fuck off. And you can sleep whenever you want. That's essentially the plan. So first we gotta get Moonless, and then we're gonna see if we can fuck... ...Crowmaller... ...up the ass. So, let, let's go through the... Arduous journey of, mom. Well, I guess getting the lesser souls so I can get both spells, and then just fighting them. I don't, I don't want to grind and um, search all the barrels and crates if I'm just going to possibly die repeatedly. No, oh, yeah, this is also a book I never read, so I might as well just have it here, even though I'm sure there's the the chance of me dying is huge. But I have not read this, so let's see. The Hexen creates a connection to the gods, both new and old. To get closer to the older gods, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. Hmm. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. Oh, interesting. So, it's saying I'm closest to... Let's, let's use the mouse, or it doesn't... Wait. Uh, yeah, I can't use the mouse, unlike in combat, where you can both use a mouse and the arrow keys. So essentially it's saying I'm the closest to these two gods, so I'm not sure which ones... Or, I'm, the, I'm closest to the God of Enlightenment, I do believe. But I, I... Maybe the only way I can be closer to the God of Enlightenment is if I have all these done. But... Locust Swarm, yes. I hear it's godlike. And then we have Flock of Crows, which I don't hear anything about, honestly. If we're just going to go on the combat route of what do I need to do to kill Crowmaller, it's the important lesson I need to learn. I don't know if I can say you guys need to learn, but to those not spoiled, We'll figure it out. To those already spoiled, they know exactly how to kill Crowmaller, and I'm just the one in the left in the dark. Well, eh, you know, lo loving... Actually, wait, sorry, I have the scroll to do one of those. I'll leave that for now. Black Orb, I can't do... Can't do any of these because I'm not close to... I guess like the God of Sacrifice on the top. I don't know. I have two more Lesser Souls. Uh... Uh... I don't know, greater plot for sure. I'm not sure what they that exactly do. Let's. Um, so you're spent studying and giving you ability to use magic more efficiently. Isn't it just like I can? Man, I just like health steal sort of shit, but it's not like I'm gonna use that. Uh, so before we do fight, we're gonna have to have to make sure our mind is 100% just in case. Oh no, what am I missing? Oh yeah, the scroll. The, I still have church healing. And now we have healing whispers and loving whisper. I don't think I'll really use that, but if he if Chromaller injures any of us, I can use the spell. I'm not sure to what extent it is useful. Do we have any alcohol? Well, we have opium, so maybe we can smoke our problems away. So let's figure out, shall we? Healing Whispers is, yeah, a group AoE spell. I have no idea 
how much. It takes 30 mind and heals a certain amount. Wait. Shouldn't I be seeing another one in here? Healing Whispers. Didn't I... Loving Whispers! Where's Loving Whispers? This is just... I don't have Loving Whispers. Do I just... Did I learn already too many and I can't learn anymore? I swear I've had it before. Hmm. Because the other one's like a single spell, the other one's a mass area of effect spell, or full party spell. Strange. Oh well, Anna, let's just use it, whatever. Yeah, okay. And yeah, we can smoke some opium, unless we have alcohol. Oh, I don't want to drink too much alcohol. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, we're going to fight Chromar. I'm going to use Locust Swarm. Well, I don't have any alcohol, though. If I don't have alcohol, then I can't drink during combat to replenish my mind if I run out of mind. That would suck. All right, well, let's save and rest. Heads! Good, okay, we failed. The only time I'll actually be happy that I failed. I wonder, too, if I could put a bear trap right there. And then, like, he stands on it and it snaps on him. I'm curious. Alright. Locust Swarm, what do you do? No, well... What does that even mean? He's stunned for two rounds, but he bit the fucking head off already? Let's see if the revive... I don't have- oh, I don't have the blue revive. Fuck me, okay, uh... Okay... I've already, uh... I see. We don't have the... Oh, he's pecking! <laughs> How am I supposed to use that to my benefit? He just pecks me anyways! It, I, I swear that's the stun effect. I don't know how people be de defeat him. I mean... I thought fucking... The locust looks like it stuns, but it's not really stunning. I, I don't fucking know. Okay. Hmm. No, I don't know what to say. I guess... I can't... I don't feel confident using it, because... The fireball... He pecked... He, he pecked and killed Moonless quickly. I would need an army of skeletons, or at least a group of four people to attack... ...in order for me to at least feel confident. But otherwise, I guess I'm just gonna have to go with the path I've been doing all along of... Uh, ...get most of the shit done... ...and then save and hope everything's alright. And just for the love of God, the bed just fucking work. So, I don't know, I'm gonna take a while, probably. Alright, so, after collecting everything in this level, I had saved it once after getting... Uh, like, most of all this in this area looted. Like, I'm still going with how I am, because I, I thought Locust Swarm would have helped me to kill him, but it's still not easy, or I'm just not powerful enough, or I don't have a big enough group yet. So I looted everything and did a lot of things. The only thing I have left to do... Essentially, before moving to the tree area. Also, I'm gonna do the bear trap just in case he does show up, because then it means I'm having to repeat a lot of shit. I'm gonna see if this trick works. A trick that I have no confirmation about. Hey, I just know he goes there if... Can I pick it up after? I can't. Okay. So I'm gonna sleep again. The last two things were a helmet stand, or armor stand, and a weapon stand. Both of them were tails! So that or tails were already done twice. The chance of it being three times is, well, I mean, it's 50-50, but I'm going to do heads, and just... Oh, tails three times in a row, really? Got tails three times in a row, okay. So, we're gonna fight Tan... Okay. Just get in the fucking...
Okay, it, it doesn't work. And we, I don't think we can run. I tried before. Uh, I, I just gotta hope for good shit again. And what I'm talking about is like the, the stands and the armor to the right over here. I, I got lucky and got both of them were winners. I didn't lose at them, unlike the bed. Um, but yeah, it's less pain, but I'm going to like just keep suffering and suffering and suffering until I do my strategy of just keep going until Grimaller dies. I'm sure there's people in the comments will be like, oh, I know how to kill Grimaller. It's easy, Nico. But I don't want to be spoiled. I got to defeat him on my own. I got to get through this on my own and suffer. I'm sure like if I played Mercenary and I did things a lot differently or I just went ahead to the mines, ignored Grimaller. I don't know. I'm sure, like, And used bear traps everywhere to lure him out and then kill him. But trying to attack him by the bed, we're at a disadvantage in many ways. One, because we can't run away, while in maybe a normal fight that's not the bed, we might be able to run away from the crow mauler, damage him, run, damage, run, I don't know. But let's see what we get here. And then I'm just going to skip ahead again. Tails for the fourth time, come on! Of course. This game loves tails, until you start like relying on it too much. Tails five times in a row. What? See, this is the whole thing. Like, where you gotta, you gotta figure out what you get from here. But this, it's just like, I can't wear the armor it gave me. Plate mail. I can wear the plate helmet and the leggings. I don't get why, but the, we can wear the helmet. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm not recording. But I was able to save in the bed a second fucking time. It was Tails, thank god. I'm just picking Tails every time I'm sleeping. Oh, I've been recording for 43 minutes. I'm almost, almost ready for new content. It's, it's exciting. I don't, I don't know what I'll be keeping, keeping here. I can't talk too much. But episode 7, we'll finally see a start of fucking progress in the tree. The tree area, fuck me. Thank god, finally. Oh yeah, but so, the last thing I have to do then, everything is cleared. I got all the armory. I failed two armors and weapon places, but it's like, oh fucking well. Um, I just had to get Moonless and kill the bird demon. And when I get Moonless, kill the bird demon, I can go back and save it one more time. And then as soon as that save succeeds, or fails, I have to try again. But as soon as I get Moonless, then save it a third time. Yeah, I know, this sounds probably ridiculous to some people, but I want to make sure, I'm the kind of player who I have to have everything ready for the unknown. Like, if I'm playing Skyrim, I'm not going to go into a brand new, possibly high-level dungeon, you know, and be unarmed and naked and just hope that punching things will get me to victory. That's not how it works. So, I have to, uh, feel prepared. And this game is all about the unknown and luck. So, yes, thank you very much. I'm going to save three times before I start my new adventure down the motherfucking tree. Alright, it's the moment of silence. I got Moonless, I got everything done. I even got a Blood Portal done. And all the healing spells I want. Everything's ready for new progress. So this is the moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh boy. And also I, f I found out Blueberry Pie does actually heal you. So here's the thing. Blueberries, blue potions. Blue has magic properties, even if it's blueberries. Strange. But hey, let's sleep in the shitty bed again. Oh, pray to Gnoss. No, oh, yeah, of course, the wrong god, wrong, wrong, wrong one. Great, fucking Christ. Of course, of course. Wait, what? I, I defeated Crowmaller. Cr Wait, start a recording. I just used pyromancy on him twice. Why did he die? You. Oh, I didn't wanna, okay. I was sleeping with two dead animals next to me. No, I, what, a second save, what? No, I, can I use the potion of life? No, not me. No. So I'll fucking skin you. Why do you see no point? Aw, oh, man, ah... Uh, nothing of worth. Okay, well, people are telling me about 
Crow Mauler having his fucking room. I'm gonna check that shit out. I don't know how I'm going to be fixing my shit. I know I'm infected. I... It, it, it burning. Okay, so the potion of life is just fucking poison. That that's basically all it is. That's why it doesn't. That's why it doesn't revive. Uh. It doesn't offer to revive. Moonless. So I'm not gonna stay with this save. Is if I can defeat Crowmaller without anyone dying, then yeah. So fuck it. I'm gonna see if I can go into Crawler Mauler's room. And I'll just leave content for that as new content, Crowmaller's Room. Then the tree, because I'm getting really damn tired of playing this for hours. And, uh, you know, dying to a heads and tails fucking RNG. Oh, thank fucking god. Alright. So, I'm not recording, but, um, fuck, I'll, uh, save over my save. Thank God. Alright, I'm... I'm... I'm ready. <laughs> it's been so long, I'm finally ready. Oh my God, an hour of recording. Okay. So I have Moonless. I saved on the bed. I have everything I want. I cleaned out everything. We're... Are, we're healthy. We, we can make so much... Vegetable pies, bacon and eggs, and... Actually, we don't need to make that. We already have an explosion for the tree. So we don't need to make that. We've got that for poison in case. And we got mushroom stew. We have so many mushrooms. We got so much food. That's how I wanted everything to be. We saved. However, I want to see if I can actually fight and beat Crowmaller while I'm at this. There we go. Let's challenge Crowmaller because in one particular moment when I was trying to save and failed, I actually defeated Crowmaller by blasting his head twice. And I'm going to imagine the fire damage perhaps did a thousand damage without me seeing it and the numbers were just above and off the screen. Uh, but Moonless had died. And uh, Kumala just had nothing on him. So I was just like, huh, this is a waste. I'll just restart, even though I killed him. I could have ventured off without Moonless. I didn't want to do that. Because Moonless is uh, very helpful. And then I figured out that the uh, life potion is just, just fucking, it's a scam. Life potion is fucking poison. That's all there is. So let's just try to blow off his head and concentrate entirely on his head and hope he just doesn't simply, you know, peck our fucking heads off and that we don't miss once and that he targets only Moonless. I can... I can heal... Yeah, extra turn. Here we go. Bleed damage and fire damage is exactly what I want. Wait, I did... Uh, uh, uh. Come on. If we can go... There goes his leg... There goes his head. No, uh, not me, not me. I don't know how to fix bones yet. Ah, not my eyes. Come on. Okay, they didn't get my eye. Oh, shit, he aimed for... Oh, he aimed for the head for once. If only that hit. Motherfucker. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Bro. I'm not going to die from that, but unless he does the flock of crows. Oh. Motherfucker, yes! Search. He's nothing of worth. And there's no point in skinning him. How do I heal bones? I don't even know. But we defeated him. That's all that matters. Okay. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what I should do. Uh... I mean, I could heal with some, uh, hmm, there's a lot of things I could do, really. Alright, after some thought and some digging into, I'm not going to continue the game after having defeated Crowmaller as much as uh, it's awesome to have him dead. Why? Well, our bones are broken. I don't have any splints. I think it's splints that you need. Obviously, like in real world, it's splints that you use. But I don't have any splints, and I don't have any means of crafting splints if you can. So I'm just gonna go with this save. Uh, we can defeat him. It's the first time I've actually defeated him, so I'm kind of kind of shocked. But we're going to instead 
go to the tree and finally just get anything, any, any kind of new progress. This episode might be a little long for me rambling and showing you guys my progress of me going like, no, and oh, I died again. Oh, hey, I died again. I died again. But this this is the progress I was waiting for. This is, So you guys can sort of suffer through my incessant boredom. I've been recording since like seven and it's now almost 10. <laughs> Okay, good good job, Moonless. Recording, and it's almost 10. I'm, I'm pretty tired. But I wanted to deliver you guys some more Fear and Hunger content. Uh, because I see, like, Rim and even Mr. Kraken. Mr. Kraken? Mr. Kraven. Mr. Kraven! I called him Mr. Kraken! What the fuck is wrong with me? Are releasing now content of Fear and Hunger. And people, you know, other YouTubers are beating it. It's getting more attention. Awesome. But I'm behind. I'm like one of the first people to to give to showcase it, and I'm also one of the last to like basically beat it. Uh, Mr. Craven, I highly doubt has beaten it. I haven't paid attention uh, to how far he's gotten. I just know he played it once, but I, I can't fall too behind, too far behind. If we're going to do the tree. We're, we're just going to get content at long last. So I don't know how long this will be, but I have to guarantee. <laughs> We have to guarantee, I have to guarantee progress to you guys, and I, I am, and we are. We're going to the tree with Moonless, we'll see if we can get the Outlander. Although, if I recall, I was told, with n not much spoilers, that I should avoid recruiting the Outlander, which is kind of, hmm. Hmm. Like, now that I remember that, I'm like, shit. Also, am I going the wrong way? I am. I have to go towards the tree. It's upwards. Oh god. That was scary. At least I didn't fall through a fucking floor in the hole. A hole in the floor! Alright, I'm ending it here. I got amazing progress. For those that are being all weepy-eyed saying, No, Nico, don't end it so abruptly and randomly. Don't worry. For today, there'll be two episodes of Fear and Hunger to summarize the double gameplay of all the progress I got because the first half may not have a lot of progress and that bugs the fuck out of me. So I'm going to do two episodes back to back of Fear and Hunger so you guys can get the entire wrap up of all the shit I had done while I recorded it today. It's been a busy day, but I hope you enjoy it. I finally found the save, the just the capacity. For one, I have the save that makes it so I can go down the forest and I don't have to restart the game from scratch. I can then, when I beat the game by going down the tree, I can then go down the mines instead and get brand new progress by beating the game by going that way to see if there's any differences. So, look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed right now, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, leave a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Bye.